Two fences with one main goal. Both fences had been used for perimeter security, but only one was designed from the ground up for just that purpose. Which brings me to my friends here, Trevor and Sophia. How are you guys doing? Great. How's it going? So what do you say we find out which one of these makes a better security fence? I'm all in. Let's, Let's do, do it. Let's do it. All right. This is chain link versus expanded metal security mesh. Okay, here's how it works. Sophia, you're gonna represent our chain link fence system, and Trevor, you're gonna represent the expanded metal security fence system. Uh, I literally have not heard of expanded metal security mesh. This is my first time seeing an expanded metal fence, and I am a little bit scared. I won't lie. Our first challenge, climbing the fence. Woo! Okay, contestants, take your mark. Are you ready? Yes! Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go! I used to climb fences as a real little kid, but growing up, no. I haven't done it in a while, so. Well, I got to the base of the fence and realized it was a lot easier in my head. Oh, there's Sophia. Wow, she's making it pretty easy. Trevor's struggling, he's finally got a grip on it. Very impressive. Cool. Okay, wow, Sophie is already almost over the top. Trevor's still really struggling, and looks like Sophia has made it past. Getting over the expanded metal fence was tough because there wasn't really anything to grip onto. With like chain link, you can slide your feet in there, and there was not. I couldn't even put my fingers through the holes in the expanded metal fence, let alone my feet. Here we go, Trevor's got a good grip. Looks like he's finally made it. A little too late. Struggling still. And he's down. And time up. All right, what happened there, Trevor? There's no question that you just got totally destroyed. Did I lose by that much? Yeah, it was a landslide. Now climbing is a very common way to get to the other side of a fence, and the truth is most people can climb over a fence. So the job of security fencing becomes delaying the intruder, and that delay allows enough time for the proper authorities to arrive. And Expanded Metal did just that in our first climbing challenge, so even though Sophia made it over before you, Trevor, it's Expanded Metal with the first point. Oh wait, really? That's right. <laughs> Woo! <There you> go. <laughs> So we tried going over the fence. How about we try going through it? Yes. Now, Sophia, we don't want you to have any unfair advantage, so we've replaced your chain link fence with a tighter chain link mesh. It's a better security fence. It should be more fair what? comparison. Tough luck. This looks thicker. It looks uh, a lot more tougher, and I don't know how I'm going to cut through it. Well, thank you, Jeremy, because last time she had a little baby fence, so hopefully it'll be a little tougher on her now. Why don't we, uh... Ooh. Yeah. Huh? Cheating, okay, are we ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go. <laughs> well, after that little uh, climbing charade, I'm starting to think power tools sound pretty good. I went for the bolt cutter. That's because I just kind of use common sense. It's, it's chain link, that's what I'm cutting through. And I felt like that would have been the easiest for me. I, it started off a little bit slow, but then all of a sudden I was just going down, you know, just a straight line all the way down. wire at the bottom of the cut and you're golden. Uh oh. <laughs> what? No! That's not fair! Ugh. It wasn't as smooth of a cut as I thought it was going to be. 
Ciao. And that's time for Trevor. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. There you go. All right, Sophia was the first to get through the chain link, but the name of the game is Delaying Intruders, which means expanded metal gets another point. Okay, so we've climbed the fence. We've cut through the fence. Trevor, you've lost both times. What's the problem, big guy? I'm not trying to complain, but it feels like Sophia's fences are a lot easier. I feel like that's a big excuse. We're gonna give you a chance for redemption here, Trevor, okay? You guys have cut through the fence. Now I wanna see who can make it look like the fence has not been tampered with, right? Make it look brand new. All right, you guys ready? Yes! All right, let's go. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna cut your hand. Trevor's aggressively, ooh, don't cut the fingers. So when I looked at the slit in the fence, it wasn't too bad. It was just more so about, I just needed something to bring it together. And I found this bucket filled with random tools. So I grabbed some zip ties from there and brought it over to the fence and started working on it. And Sophia is already halfway done. Over halfway done. I think it was considerably harder to seal the expanded metal than the, uh, the chain link. Whatever easy one Sophia had, because it was very clear that somebody had broken into mine. Ooh, and Sophia's done. Damn, what? Got it. Ooh, oh my God. You can do it. Yeah. We believe in you. Ugh. Oh, God. I guess I'm done. You're done. Yep. There's only so much you can do. Yes. OK. <laughs> Chain link is clearly the simple and fast fix in the concealing department. So Trevor, in the world of security, how would you feel about a fence that you could cut through and easily conceal? Bad. <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. And that's probably the biggest offense for Chainlink so far. Now imagine a high stakes facility like a water treatment plant or a power plant or an airport, any infrastructure facility. I'd want to know if somebody was on the premises so that I could further investigate what was happening, right? Mm -hmm. As much as I'd like to, you know, blame it on Trevor's craftsmanship, it seems that expanded metal security mesh would clue you in to any kind of tampering. Which means expanded metal security mesh gets another point, making expanded metal security mesh the winner of this security challenge. Woo! Yeah! The winner! That's me! There's plenty of reasons why expanded metal security mesh is your best option for security fencing. For example, I could go on about aesthetic quality, how you can make something normally an eyesore into a noticeably attractive facility, but let me make it easy. If you're installing security fencing, just ask yourself, how important is security to me? Because if you want tighter security, the answer is simple, expanded metal security mesh. Thanks guys very much for your help. Expanded metal! Let's go! Yeah.